All right. Now it's 11.07, so we might as well start and uh, let them join later. Uh, okay. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I, uh, welcome to the commercial uh, meeting today. And, and every month I'm looking forward to this meeting because I learn new things every, every meeting. Uh, and uh, today's no exception. We have a, a fabulous uh, speaker today. Uh, which I'm going to introduce later. But before that, I would like to take care of uh, some uh, housekeeping uh, uh, items. Um, and, uh, and, uh, and then and also gives us the agents uh, a little bit of time to uh, pitch their new the commercial listing, OK? All right, now I was asked, uh, lately I was asked uh, whether, uh, which one is better to, to use, the form, the AIR form or the, the CAR form. Now, um, I, I have to admit, um, the both forms are uh, very good, at, but uh, you know, maybe the AR form are more preferable by, by some of the commercial uh, agents because uh, they're more comprehensive, they have, uh, they're more impressive, I, I, I should say, uh, and, and, and they, they are widely used in the commercial uh, uh, setting. So, so, but the CAR form is just as uh, adequate, and uh, we in Core Banker George Realty, we mostly use the, the CAR form. The reason is because uh, a lot of agents are not members of the AIR, and the AIR, you know, you have to be member in order to use their forms. Uh, um, and uh, you know, you cannot share the forms, uh, and if you do, you get in trouble because uh, it is uh, copyrighted. Uh, um, a few years ago, the Tom uh, got into trouble with that, and so now, now we don't we don't have a, um, you know, the company do not uh, give the the forms to the uh, the agents unless they are the member of the AIR. Okay, so uh, please understand that, and if you uh, want to do a lot of uh, commercial, uh, be a member of uh, of uh, AIR, and it's about uh, you know it's a little price to pay. $195 a month, uh, but I think it's worth it, okay? Um, and, uh, and, and also agents ask me whether, um, let me uh, miss uh, that person in first. Um, and, 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 and this, uh, they asked me whether they can use the, you know, uh, outside attorney uh, for to drafting the, uh, the, um, um, the agreements. Uh, uh, well, I have no problem with that as long as they, you know they uh, they uh, abide by the, by the rules and, and all the, the, the this um, you know the disclosure statements are, 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 are also are given. Uh, if they don't want to give those uh, the disclosure statements, uh, they you know you have to ask them the reason why. And if they they still insist not to give those uh, disclosure statements, and you give them uh, you ask them you know give them a uh, a waiver and uh, make sure that you document that that you you already uh, uh, you know ask them for those uh, uh, disclosure because uh, the disclosures are very important. There are some statutory disclosure that you are mandatory. Uh, for example, the CCPA uh, and uh, and uh, uh, you know the the agency disclosures and the material facts about the, the properties. All those has to be uh, like the you know as step as vessels and the uh, moles and and uh, and um, you know whether that uh, that uh, there are some material to, uh, structural damages to the to the property that has to be disclosed and if they don't disclose uh, then you ask them for for a waiver so that you you can protect yourself and uh, your client and also uh, the, the company okay um, and if uh, um, you know if if, if they if if they if they use the, uh, the other forms that are not uh, uh, listed in the in in, in the, uh, the template of the uh, whole banker George Realty, uh, um, it is okay. But you, you need to document that and also um, make sure that they uh, they are aware of that uh, the the consequences that they don't want to disclose. And Anna and the Maricela are very knowledgeable in this respect, and they are the very experienced the TC. Uh, and uh, you can always, if you have any question at all, you can always call them, or you can call CZNI, and 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 we will, we will guide you accordingly. Okay. 
Um, all right, so that's the, the, uh, the housekeeping items that I want to mention. Uh, Cesar, do you have anything to add um, uh, that you want to announce to, oh, to the- Everything good. I'm just so happy to see so many people coming into the meeting. Yes, uh, okay. Let me see, uh, there's some waiting, somebody waiting too. So I met them and okay, great. Okay, now uh, at this point, I would like to give um, the agents one minute to uh, pitch their, 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 their new listing. I know that Nick uh, Borelli has a, a new listing that I want to share with us or, and Steve, I don't know what, uh, whether Steve is in, uh, in the audience. And Steve has also has a new listing. Uh, so uh, Nick, would you like to share your new listing? I have the 510 West Monterey Road in uh, Pomona, it's a 13,500 square, square foot warehouse under user. It was an old church and it's got like 27,000 square feet of land to it. And this property has a development play for 24 units also because it got rezoned residential and multifamily. Okay, thank you. Uh, Steve, are you in the audience? I don't yeah, see I'm you. here. Oh, okay, see if you want to go. Yeah, yeah I have one minute, okay? <laughs> Don't get it too long. I have a, a, a triplex, which is the uh, uh, in San Gabriel. Uh, good location, if you know James Charles' development uh, on the Pacific Square and mixed use, it's within walking distance. And the, uh, uh, have a one freestanding building and a, a one duplex. Uh, it's hundred percent occupied, but the unit B is occupied by the owner. Uh, the interior has been remodeled, uh, concrete uh, driveway with a uh, automatic gate. I mean a remote gate. So uh, easy care. Uh, I already got someone who said they are interested, but who knows? You know, I've wait until I receive uh, the uh, uh, AOI or contract. Uh, I uh, update my opening memorandum. I will I will send to uh, you so you can bless mail to everybody. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Steve, for sharing. Is there any more the? Um, yeah, actually, I do. Uh, uh, okay, hi, Steve. okay, Steve, go ahead. Yeah, um, I have a price reduction at one zero zero nine West Los Angeles Avenue, Montebello. Uh, it's a reduction from two point one million down to uh, one point eight nine five. Uh, this is a, a six unit uh, property, approximately 3270 worth of uh, living space on a large lot, about 15,000 uh, square feet. Uh, it's been very well uh, maintained and kept by the uh, same family for a couple generations. And I also still have a uh, 1618 South San Gabriel Boulevard, uh, which is an 11,050 uh, square foot um, um, open uh, space on the corner of Valley and San Gabriel Boulevard. It was formerly a tile store, be great for a uh, a uh, tile store, uh, furniture store, uh, it's zoned mixed use by the city of San Gabriel. All right, thank you, Steve. Uh -huh. Anybody else? Good job. What, anybody else? Okay. Well, if not, then we'll come to the main, uh, main event of today. Uh, uh, as I said, we have a very exciting speaker uh, by the name of uh, Matt Confield. Uh, is it, did I pronounce your last name right, uh, Matt? You pronounce it like most people do. It's it's corn fine, but it's corn fine. Oh, every okay. way uh, you can think of, but it's not a problem. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, Matt is the uh, the husband with the co bank uh, uh, for uh, over fifteen years, and he's he's the main uh, executive director of the uh, of the company, and he's the director of the servicing and uh, growth for commercial uh, for co banker commercial. And he's responsible for overseeing the value proposition and growth across the band, uh, across the brand. And he has been instrumental in um, in uh, 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 in a key uh, stakeholder in platform development, lead generation, sales, events, uh, corporate services, and developing synergies across residential and commercial uh, businesses. And uh, Matt uh, currently uh, uh, lives in uh, Chicago and is uh, continuing to look for new ways to help drive the uh, business forward for the co-banker commercial. And this is exactly what we need, uh, Matt. And 
uh, without further ado, uh, let's welcome uh, Matt. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Matt. Hey, thank you, Peter. Thank you, Caesar, for having me here, guys, and and glad to be here with you, right? So I, I want to spend a little bit of time with you this morning. You know, first I'm just going to talk a bit about Coldwell Banker Commercial, some things that have been going on with us, just to make you guys aware of some things. And then from there, we're going to dive into desk. And I'm going to talk a bit about some of the tools, the resources, the research, the learning that I know a lot of folks are just overlooking, right? You guys are busy. There are deals happening, right? And you're you're focused on doing those deals. And sometimes it, it takes a minute to kind of take a step back and realize, wow, there's a, a lot of things that are available, not just from Coldwell Banker and Coldwell Banker Commercial George, but also at the corporate level. So we'll talk a bit about that for you guys. So as Peter mentioned, uh, I've been with the brand going on 15 years now, just focused on the Coldwell Banker commercial brand. Uh, I've worn a lot of different hats. I've been to your guys' office location multiple times. We were talking about that earlier before. You know, and we're doing very well from a Coldwell Banker commercial side. We're at about 150 firms. And out of those 150, I've probably been to about 146 of them, I want to say, that we've been to, that I've been to. You know, in doing so, talking about the brand, what's going on, what we're seeing, you know, from a Coldwell Banker commercial national side, things are looking really well, right? So we were just out in Jackson Hole a couple months ago. I know Nick and Caesar were out there with us. We had a great event with some of our other top producers who were telling us they're having some of their best years ever, right? And where that's coming from is they're getting back to basics, they're servicing their clients, they're picking up the phone, they're calling, they're working with them. So we're seeing a lot of that. Um, it, you know, it depends on the sector and what you're working on, of course, right? Office and retail are struggling a bit more, but if you're working on multifamily or land deals, or in particular warehouse and industrial, those things have been going, you know, they're on, on fire. It doesn't matter where you are in the country, you're in Southern California, Chicago, Florida, those guys are, are selling like hotcakes. Also from a CBC side, you know, we're doing very well. We're projected to have one of the best years we've ever had in over 10 years across all the Coldwell Banker commercials. So our numbers from that side are looking really good. And we're continuing to add new firms, right? So kind of to tap myself on the back a little bit, we've actually added 15 more firms in Coldwell Banker commercial over the past 18 months. We've added more firms than we have, you know, in those, you know, 18 months than we have over the past four years combined. So a lot of folks really like what's going on within Coldwell Banker Commercial, what we're offering, what we're all about and what we stand for. And what I'm doing, and just kind of for you guys, um, just to kind of take note is, you know, I work with a lot of our firms um, expanding into the Coldwell Banker Commercial business. We just got two approved last week, one in New York State and one in Montana, but also working with residential companies um, who are good business operators or a residential agent who might want to make the switch over to commercial. So if you know anybody like that, um, just in your sphere of influence, let me know, pass that along to Caesar or Peter or whoever, and then we can, you know, see what we can do to help win that business and help them come on board and kind of work with you guys um, in particular. So real quick about Coldwell Banker Commercial, uh, what I want to do now is go live into CBC Desk and show you guys some of the tools and resources. And before I do that also, I just kind of want to preface that this training is for you guys, right? So even though we're recording this, please stop and ask me at any time if you have any questions, if there's anything else that you guys you know, want me to cover or go over again with you. So with that being said, I'm going to share my screen. Hopefully, can you guys see my screen okay here? Yes. Perfect. Yes. yes. Okay. So what we're looking at here is CBC Desk, right? This is our intranet site or extranet site, if you want to call it that. And this is the where you guys get access to the tools, the resources, the learning, everything that exists within CBC. Now, as you guys are very much aware, there is a sister company we have in Coldwell Banker. They have their own intranet site known as My CB Desk. You may also have access to that if you do residential business as well. This is completely separate. This is CBC Desk, so you will have a different username and password for that. Okay. Once you do log in, it looks similar in terms of the layout, but the tools, the resources, and everything that exists is very different. Because the way we operate Coldwell Banker Commercial is that even though it is the same license, we truly recognize commercial real estate is a different business than residential. So because of that, we offer different tools and resources, again, for you guys, our commercial professionals. 
So uh, what maybe we can do, if I can kind of ask maybe, maybe Caesar, you know, if anybody doesn't have access to this, right, or is struggling to find apps or so forth, maybe if we can get like compile a list of those people and then I can work with my team internally and the help desk to make sure everyone within your guys' office gets access to it. So we can work with that. So here's the home screen. Uh, we'll talk about and we'll go into a few of the tools and the resources. But what I want to highlight is some of the stuff on the left-hand side first, and then we'll dive into a couple of those. Okay. So navigation's kind of on the left. You can always click on a section to learn more about it. So if I clicked on CVC brand, now I'm going to find our brand, uh, you know, our roadmap about upcoming events and, and things that we have going on. A CVC store, if you want to order more swag items and so forth, policies and procedures, et cetera, a handful of things that are in there. You also have on the left is what we call our commercial briefing, better known as news. So if you want to know what's happening in the world of Coldwell Banker Commercial, you can always come into this commercial briefing section to see what's going on. We also send out, you know, we try not to send too many, but we do send out once a week, every Tuesday at, it would be for you guys, I think 9 a.m. Pacific time, we send out our weekly commercial briefing newsletter. And those are just a handful of things that we think you guys need to be made aware of. So some of the things that we have going on. If anyone has gone to ICSE in the past, Recon in Vegas, it's normally the third week in May um, every year. Uh, the past couple of years, of course, due to the pandemic, that has been canceled, but they are doing their first event again. It's called Here We Go Again uh, in early December. Coldwell Banker Commercial will have a booth. We will be there. Um, it's not your normal recon show. If you guys have been there before, they actually shut down the entire South Hall and nobody's allowed to use any of their own booths. So we always have this gorgeous 4,000 square foot booth. It's very much a turnkey solution. You know, when they have 40,000 people, I think they're expecting maybe four to 5,000 people. So uh, just kind of set your expectations. But if you're working in retail, uh, know that we'll have a booth, we'll have a presence there. So that's in early December, um, celebrating people that got their pins at SIOR. Something else, uh, you might've seen it, and I didn't see the list recently to know if anybody's a part of it, but we do have a very dedicated training for folks that are new in commercial real estate. And that is known as our CRE Win course. And the CRE Win course is a program we offer it two to three times a year. And it's for brokers who have been in the business really 18 months or less, right? It's for someone, maybe you've closed the deal, maybe two, and you decide, you know what? I really want to make a career of this. I'm going to focus on commercial real estate. CRE Win is the program for you. So we have about 40 to 50 people from across the country. You need to register to be a part of it. Um, and there's no cost to this. And once you do, you are a part of, you get a part of that, that cohort and you have eight weeks of homework assignments. You get assigned a mentor in your office and it really works through, you know, deal doctoring, negotiation tactics, selling by phone, building your team, um, some deep financial analysis as well. So it's a very successful program that we offer for Coldwell Banker Commercial. So the next course kicks off, uh, I think in two weeks, but that class is full. We will do it again in, I think, February of next year. So something to consider if you're new in commercial real estate. I'll also highlight something that you guys can take advantage of as early as today um, that we have for that. But other news and information that's going on, we have a podcast channel as well. If you guys just want to know what's happening in the world of Coldwell Banker Commercial or commercial real estate, we have a podcast we do called CRE with CBC Worldwide. Um, in there, we do uh, feature discussions on, we've done stuff on mid-year updates in 2021. Uh, we interview a lot of third parties. We interviewed uh, Allison Weiss, who's a broker, um, talking about you know being a successful woman in commercial real estate and how does that work. I actually record a thing every month called the In Case You Missed It episode, and it's five to seven minutes of, hey, here's the things you might have missed the past month within Coldwell Banker Commercial. But there's some great stuff in there that you guys can actually send out to your clients as well. So instead of sending them a flyer, right, or here's a white paper or something you guys might want to keep an eye out for, send them a podcast episode so they can learn a little bit what's happening in the world. So big takeaway, commercial briefing is where you're going to get all the news that's going on within CBC. We also have a few things to highlight on the marketing side, okay? So one of the first things I wanna point out, what we actually do within CBC is we have an email signature generator that's in place, okay? And with this, we know everybody has their own email addresses and their domains that they control, whether you're using Outlook or Gmail or Yahoo or what have you. 
but everyone's email can look very similar in Coldwell Banker Commercial, right? Especially what we, when we look at business from the commercial side and people are working on more regional and national clients, we want to make sure we kind of all look and kind of feel a little bit similar. And, and yeah, I understand your guys' clientele and who you're working with, and you might need to tailor things a little bit um, to be a little customized with it. But for the most part, they can be very similar. So we've got a tool within marketing. You just click on generate an email signature. And in here, you can just put in your first name, last name. Um, you know, I'm with ICSC and Urban Land Institute, your title, your company. You can just put in all your information. It will automatically, you can put in your website, your Facebook, your LinkedIn, et cetera. It will automatically generate a email signature for you. And it will have Coldwell Banker Commercial George Realty on there for you guys as well. And that way your email looks very simple. Looks very simple. Corporate, corporate. I'm going to mute you. Or Marcos. Um, your email looks very similar to myself and the corporate people, those in Florida, those other folks that might be there as well. So if you wanted to take a look at that, that's under the marketing section. We also have a handful of other marketing templates that exist down here. So if you're looking for just a PowerPoint template that we have, we have property flyers, multi-properties, brochures. We have a placemat template, right? We have an oversized template um, that you guys can sit down. It's a nice one pager if you want to sit down in front of your client and kind of walk them through the process of your guys' listing presentation, you can do that via a placemat. We've got a pitch book as well, right? So this came from our brokers up in Glendale um, who had mentioned, hey, we're competing with more like boutique high-end shops. Um, we need a nice, you know, full bleed, really rich imagery piece. So we created this pitch book that you guys can download and customize. Works really well if you want to print it out in like a thicker stock, if you have it in your front desk or your office or lobby. <coughs> so there's a lot of resources that are available here for you. But the other big takeaway with this is, you know, I want you guys to know that we are not in, you know, an ivory tower in New Jersey where I'm at in Chicago, just creating documents out of the will, out of the, you know, where we think of things from free will. All of our best ideas come from you guys, right? Come from our commercial professionals. So please let us know if there's something that you guys would like to see, you think would be beneficial. Let us know. And for the most part, we end up creating those and making them available for everybody, right? So you guys were talking about forms a little bit earlier and where some of the, to go to get forms from ARR and so forth. And, you know, we don't provide forms from the Coldwell Banker commercial side just because every state is different, right? And, and licensing and so forth with that. But we do provide a ton of templates and resources for you guys. So if there's something you're looking for, um, reach out to myself, to your brand ambassador, the team, let us know. Um, and we'll most likely end up creating that for everybody else as well. So there's marketing templates. The other thing I want to highlight under the marketing section for you guys is our Operation Pathfinder. Now, you might have seen some emails and communications going out about this. An Operation Pathfinder, you know, what this is, is, is this is the marketing effort that we're calling for kind of the refresh, the rebrand, the Cobalt Banker Commercial 2.0, right? Like the relaunch of our brand. So as I was talking when we started the call here, you know, I was like, we've been doing great in Cobalt Banker Commercial. We're going to have the best year in 10 years. We're adding all these new firms. Things are going great. We need our presence, how we show, showcase ourselves to the market to reflect that as well. And that's what we're calling Operation Pathfinder. So this has been an effort we've been working on for over a year now. And what it will entail is also um, we're going through and we're creating new signs, new templates. Uh, we're doing a photo shoot right now that you guys get to use of stock photography, as well as a updated logo for Coldwell Banker Commercial. So it is a full refresh of the brand that's going to be coming. There's new business cards, new postcards, you name it. We're rolling it out for everybody. We are going to be showing this and making it available for everyone to get their first look in November of this year. So we are going to be doing a virtual fall summit, we're calling it. It's just going to be an hour and a half Zoom call just like this where we will be having David Marine, who's our CMO, showcase this and introduce it to all of you guys, with the thought being we will start rolling it out Jan 1 of next year. So you'll be able to get your first look at it in November. With that, then it will be available January 1 of next year. And with it, though, it's not a immediate hard stop. It's not like, oh my gosh, now you must start using all these new signs and templates. Oh, no, no, no. You guys will be able to start kind of working working through those. So I need your signs, I need what signature, bro. You can. Uh, I need uh, your signature. Like I need the actual signature. I can. Okay. Um, I, on the uh, one scale. I'm going to mute all, and then you can uh, unmute yourself because I have some uh, background noise. Sorry about that. 
Perfect. Thanks, Peter. Um, so operation. Hello? Yep, that was on me. Sorry, I, okay, didn't okay. I got it. Most of the time, I'm the host and I'm the one muting everybody. So it uh, took me a sec there. So again, uh, refresh of the Cobalt Banker commercial brand. You guys have You hear me? Oh, yeah, yeah. I can yeah. hear you now. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what happened. <laughs> you okay. guys will get your first glance at the new CBC in November with it being available in January of next year. So some exciting stuff there. What I also want to encourage everyone to do from a marketing side is if you haven't yet, we have a private Coldwell Banker commercial Facebook group that is available. So it's only for our Coldwell Banker commercial members. So on CBC Desk, if you go under marketing and then the social media section, you will see within here, here's a link to the podcast I mentioned, our Twitter, our YouTube channels. We have a private Facebook group. So if you click on this or you go to Facebook and you search for Coldwell Banker Commercial, you will find our CBC Facebook group within here. Okay, now in doing so, this is again, more conversations just for our CBC group. So uh, Dan Spiegel, who was on the left, I know some of you might know him. Uh, he was just up in our, uh, one of our Wisconsin offices yesterday that just joined us. He was meeting with them. Um, recent properties being sold. So this was down in Riverside with CBC SC. Um, Kerry Pastor, who's one of our top two brokers as well, just did that. Um, sales, new um, properties coming online on market. So as you guys were going around and having that conversation, if there's certain properties, again, that might have more of a national appeal, we can get them posted up in here for you guys to be able to share. As well as, again, new hires joining. We like to really kind of recognize that across the brand. Um, upcoming webinars, events, just, you know, things that are going on within CBC. Every day there's posts and comments on here. So I encourage you to join this if you have not yet. Again, you can access it from CBC Desk under the social media section, or if you just go to Facebook, you search for Coldwell Banker Commercial, you actually have to fill out a quick application to say you're with, say you're with CBC George Realty, um, and someone will approve you to get you in there. So that's probably our biggest active discussion board and where a lot of folks will kind of learn what's going on across the brand. So you can check that out. Now, also on CBC desk, we have some information for my business, right? So we don't really have a kind of listing forms or state forms, but we do have some general um, calculators, some Excel sheets that are available, 10-year, five-year cash flow models, lease first buy analysis, et cetera. There are some nice state coverage maps in here as well. And I know we're going to be updating these, uh, like in particular for California, when the new branding comes out. So as you guys are starting to work and you're talking with somebody that maybe has a bigger presence across California or regionally, here's some ones that will have, you know, Coldwell Banker Commercial has California covered. Here's all of our markets that we're in, right? And then there's the 2019 sales and leasing statistics. These will all be updated with 2020 and 2021 numbers that you guys could use in some of your marketing pitches and win business presentations as well. So I figured you guys might appreciate that and using some of those. And again, this is under the My Business section. Um, there's some general forms under there as well. But something we've spent a good amount of time on during the pandemic and really enhancing is our research components that are available. You know, when the pandemic started, we took a look at a lot of the things and said, hey, where can we help our Coldwell Banker commercial professionals really raise the bar and provide a higher level of service to your clients? And one of the things we saw on that with an opportunity was through research. So the research has been divided into a couple different paths. Some of them are self-service, right? And that means these are products and research materials that you guys can generate and run on your own. And I'll show you one of those in a little bit from a demographic side. We also have access to Reese. If you're not familiar with Reese at all, they were uh, acquired by Moody's a few years ago. So let's say you wanna know the multifamily you know, rates for Q2 for Alhambra, right? Or Southern California you can get that from Reese. You wanna know office sectors, right? Retail, industrial, they have some good market data and reports. You guys can run reports anywhere in the country. Um, you get access to Reese to do that. And to do so, you simply, again, I'm under the My Business Research section. Under, there was a Reese overview. Here's a Reese sign up. I click this link, I fill out this form and I will be given a Reese username and password to go into Reese and run my own reports. 
and we can do quite a bit. And I think maybe one of the, the subsequent kind of follow-up um, presentations for you guys is we can bring on Jane Thorne Leeson, who oversees our research team. And she does a lot of these presentations as well, just focusing on all of these research components. So don't feel kind of too overwhelmed with a lot of this stuff. So you've got Reese that's available. We'll talk about the demographics one. I'll show you guys that in a minute. But we also have a couple other tools that our research team will generate the reports and then provide them to you, right? And the reason why we kind of structure it that way is, is honestly, it's cost, right? We, we, we can't afford to pay for a Hoover's license for everybody um, or a retail lease track or some of those things. But we have our research team. You put in a simple request and they will provide those reports to you. And we say we'll provide those reports within about 24 to 48 hours. For the most part, it's the same day. Just don't ask for a report at 9 a.m. for an 11 a.m. meeting. That's kind of all we ask. But some of those that are available will help you guys in terms of lead generation, right? And building your book of business. And the first one a lot of folks use and they take advantage of is Hoover's. So Hoover's is owned by Dun & Bradstreet. And this is gonna give you kind of all the business data for people in your market or anywhere kind of across the country, right? So let's say you have a perfect, uh, well, what was Nick was mentioning? He's got a um, you know multi uh, church plot with some land that's being developed up for 24 plus units of multifamily. Maybe you guys just want to know every multifamily developer in you know the Southern California market. We will give you a list of all of those multifamily developers. Um, it will have how much revenue they generate, how many office locations who's their contact, what's their phone number, what's their email address, we will give you all that data. We just had a request come in last week from our Las Vegas operation. He's had a space that was like perfect for an accounting firm. He got a list of every accountant in Las Vegas. Or uh, here in Illinois, we had someone, they focus on laundromats. Like that's his niche, all he does is laundromats. We give him a list every so often of every laundromat in Illinois, and he actually develops a postcard that he mails out to all of them to letting him say, hey, everyone, my name's John Doe. I'm the king of laundromats. I can help you renegotiate your lease, You know, help you expand what you might be doing. Let us know. But if you're looking for contact data and in particular someone to reach out to, Hoover's will help you with that. So you've got Hoover's for some of your general um, people and businesses to find. It's going to give you their phone numbers and email addresses. We also have a relationship with a company known as Retail Lease Track. And this will focus particular on the retail sector of the business. So they manage their own database for, let's say you've got a strip mall, right? And there's a vacant suite and you want to say, hey, you know, I think Panera Bread, right, for example, would be a great fit in here. Um, is Panera Bread looking for space in the market? What are their, you know, square footage, their qualifications for, you know, HVAC, zoning, et cetera? How does that work? Um, are they going to be cannibalizing on any of their other stores, right? Is there a store close by that it might cause issues for them? So it will help provide all of that data for you. Or you can do the inverse of it and say, hey, I've got 5,000 square feet of, you know, class B retail space um, in this market. Who are tenants that are looking for that space? We will, uh, that will provide that to you as well. So this is their own retail uh, specific database um, that it can help you with. But we have a relationship with them. Again, if you want access to this or you're interested in it, again, under this My Business Research section, all I need to do that was retail lease track capabilities. Here we go. Here's a request form. Put in your first name, last name, email, where you guys are with, you know, state, uh, square footage, and then what are you kind of looking for? And we will provide you that data. And for the most part, Jane or Joni or someone on the team will pick up the phone and call you and kind of work with you directly on this. So you've got that. Um, we also have a relationship with LexisNexis, right? So that'll help you guys unravel LLCs to find true ownership of buildings, what's going on there. We've got two new ones. We are, well, I should say one other one that's available for you guys also is Esri. So if anybody is involved with kind of CCIM um, and you have access to site to do business, right? That's some very robust mapping capabilities that is available. Um, we have the full corporate suite that is in place and we will actually create these maps for you. Now we won't do it for every listing necessarily, right? We're not gonna do it for like, you know, $200,000 you know, $200, of, you know, of dirt that's zoned commercial. It's just not something we're gonna do, but you know, if it's let's say two to two and a half million dollars, we'll actually create some of these maps for you. Void analysis, heat maps, again, more cannibalization, threshold and trade areas. We will put these together for you. 
Um, and we have brokers that have said, hey, I have one business because of these maps and these Esri maps that you guys have put together for us. So some pretty um, powerful stuff, but we will do this for you guys, again, for certain properties. So this is all available. Um, and as I was mentioning, two other ones that we are in the process of launching, they've already got agreements signed, we're kind of rolling them out. One is with a company known as Near, and it's actually pretty cool stuff. It's actually mobile phone tracking, right? It's, it's kind of traffic counts 2.0. And what it will actually do is it will say, okay, you know, Matt, I wake up in the morning, I go, I get coffee, I drop my kid off at daycare and I come back. And then based on this path that I drive, you know, I'll say, okay, based on that, here's a coffee shop, here's a daycare and every other demographic sector that I fit into, this is their path they go by. So it makes sense. Maybe you can open a coffee shop here or another daycare over here. Uh, so it does that. Or let's say you're working with like a Dick's Sporting Goods, right? Or a general store. And you want to know what does that trade area look like? How far are people coming with their phones and devices to actually come to that store? So it's a little scary, but there, there's some cool stuff that you can really impress your clients with. So mobile phone tracking, that's going to be available for all you guys um, to be able to take advantage of. And then the last one we just signed last week is a relationship with a company known as Reonomy. So if you've heard of Reonomy before, uh, they'll provide comps. Um, it's, it's very truly close to a co-star competitor. We had a bunch of our brokers across the country already worked with them. So we said, you know what, let's see what we can do. And we came to terms with an agreement with Reonomy. So uh, the way the Reonomy agreement is going to work is we will give, not everybody gets a license, but every, every company will get their own account. So there'll be one for like CBC, George Realty. And then you guys can decide who has that account who runs those reports, kind of how that all works. So if that's Peter, Caesar, someone on your marketing team, staff, we'll let you guys decide who's kind of the owner of that account. But there's some very powerful stuff that you guys will be able to get with Reonomy as well. So again, there's a lot going on with research, um, but poke around a little bit. Again, we're happy to get Jane. You know, I can coordinate that with you guys uh, to get her on one of these calls to really do a deep dive through this. And again, it's it's probably one of the biggest and most impressive things I, I've seen that we've done in a while. And it's truly helping people win more business. And at the end of the day, if that's what we're, you know, that's what we're focused on for you guys. We want to make sure you guys are closing more deals. So there's a lot here in the research side for you guys. Okay. So again, a lot of that we will provide for you. You just got to know, you know, where to look and, but we'll, you know, get in touch with Jane and then she can help um, find you some of that information. But some of the stuff also you can run on your own. So on these tools sections here, one of the things we have is a demographics page or demographics tool, I should say. And we recently just updated, we kind of switched vendors to, for who was providing this data. We're working now with a company called Sightseer, okay? So in here, let's say you want to get demographics data, and it's about 200 fields of, you know, for your listings. So all your listings come over from Dash, and it'll give you kind of that 135 demographics data. Maybe you want to do custom radii, right? I don't want 135. I want a tenth of a mile, half a mile, a mile. You can do that. You can also get traffic counts from within here, as well as drive time demos, right? This might be, I know this is really relevant for people on the coast, Right, the 135 doesn't work because you're going out into the water. I need 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, right? And how does that look? So you can get drive time demographics. But you can also get area demographic information within here as well. And you can do it by zip code, state, uh, kind of their MSA or county. So um, let's say like, uh, did I spell that right? Uh, let's check this. We'll, we'll just pull up the big LA Metro here. You could do it by zip code as well um, to find this. But if I come in, it's going to pull down all this data for you guys. And then from there, then it will actually spit it out and you will get a couple choices, right? Do I want to view this in Excel so I can edit it? Or do I want this as a PDF? Now, right now, also behind the scenes, this is kind of what I call the eye test, right? This is just all the raw numbers that are in here that I'm sure is very tough to see. Um, 
What we are doing right now is also updating this. So this is all available in charts and graphs, right? A little bit easier to digest and consume as opposed to all these raw numbers. That should be live. Last I heard, I think it's next push, which is next week, next Thursday, Friday. So towards the end of next week, you have the ability to also view this information in charts and graphs. Um, so again, this is kind of more the larger LA Metro, but you could have done by city, by zip code, et cetera. Um, but total population broken down by age, male versus female, income, uh, education, race, ethnicity breakdown, languages spoken, household size. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's going on with here. Housing, owners, uh, rentals, home value. household uh, vehicles, just good amount of stuff, spending, where people work, travel time to work. 11% of people travel over an hour. And then kind of a breakdown of what landscape segment that falls into as well. So a lot of stuff that's available for here for you guys um, that you guys can run very easily via that demographics tool. Okay. Now, a couple other things that also exist for you, I just kind of want to highlight. Uh, you do have a couple of ways to the ability to send out blast emails, uh, two ways that you can do that. One of them is through your contact list, right? And that's done through a service known as campaigner. So campaigner is a third party. Think of this as your constant contact or MailChimp, right? And in here, um, we have actually created account or we bought accounts for everybody. So you simply need to click sign up. And I already have an account, so it automatically kind of clicked through. But if I hit refresher, you might see some forms very quickly show up on the screen and then it flashes away. If you click on campaigner, click on the link, it will give you a form. It's going to have all your information in there. Click sign up and it will log you into the tool. And from there, then you can load in your contact list. Let's say it's your multifamily book of business, chamber of commerce, investment contacts, whatever it might be in their Coldwell Banker commercial templates, now available, recently sold, newsletters, et cetera allowing you to send out blast emails to your contact list, right? So nice professional way for you guys to be able to do that, all templated CBC. But we also have a product known as Blue Mail, which allows you guys to send out blast emails across the Coldwell Banker commercial network, okay? So first off, there are a couple of rules to it. If you wanna send out emails, it's also, you know, you also gotta receive them as well. It's only fair. So you can't say, hey, everybody, I'm over here in, you know, California, I want you guys all to see what's going on, but you guys in Florida, eh, I don't really care what you're saying. Nope, you got to receive everything as well. Second, and really most importantly, is each one of you are limited to two blue mails a month. That's it. That's all. And those do not carry over, right? So if I didn't send two this month in September, I wouldn't have four in October. Reason being, we all get too many emails as is. So it just makes you think a little bit about what it is you want to be able to communicate. So I've got two to send and I'm currently subscribed. So I can click on compose two. So right from here, I can compose my blue mail. So I can send an email to every CBC broker in California just by checking the box, right? If you want to send it to every CBC broker or nearly 3,000 of us, you can. However, there is no select all button on purpose. We're going to make you squint on all those little boxes, right? Just a, a little bit of a deterrent to do so. But we get it. There are times and unique properties that, you know, and availabilities where you might want to be able to communicate that out. Now you've also got our friends in the North in Canada. We've got about 25 companies up in Canada. I was just working on with one of them right before I got on with you guys, as well as internationally. We are in 46 countries internationally where we have a Coldwell Banker commercial presence. Now this will not go to all of the agents, right? Or the sales professionals in those markets, but it will go to the owners and managers of those companies. So at least you do have the ability to communicate out effectively that way. If there is more connections that you guys need to have, let me know. Uh, we're actually working very closely with our international team to do more for exposure on properties and offices and listings. Um, and we've got some good contacts. So if there is someone you need internationally, let me know and I can connect you with our international team. You can also target it based on specialty, right? So if I want to hit like every generalist or multifamily broker, you can do that. And then you just put in a quick subject line, you know, 25 plus um, units, you know, SoCal. Um, a little personal message if you wanted to put that in there as well. And then you can select a property. 
So again, all your properties are fed over from Dash automatically into the system. Uh, and I've just got a bunch of dummy test stuff in here um, for my account, but uh, we will, I don't know what we'll grab. Sure, we'll do this one in Temecula. I don't even know what it is, but I'll hit preview. Oh, I think it was that listing. I think my, I just broke it because I had a bad listing. But basically what it would do is it would show you what that blast email would look like. Um, and then from there, you would have the ability to go in and kind of send it out uh, to everybody that was it, that qualified as that market, right? So let's just do this real quick again. And um, get an international one. Sure, let's see if this Venice one works. Okay, so this is a blue mail message. So it's coming from myself. It shows two agents in California who specialize in general commercial real estate and multifamily. We don't display the email addresses because I don't want a bad apple to copy them all, store them in their system, and then just kind of start spamming them directly. But again, if this was a picture, it would automatically show up here. So this was in, uh, you know, in Venice. Um, and George and Derek, and then your company, CBC George, and people can send this out. So this is a great thing that a lot of our brokers use at the point of sale when you guys are going to meet with your clients and say, hey, why should I work with Coldwell Banker Commercial? As, about, as on top of all the other things that we offer you guys, we will be able to communicate out your property to every CBC broker across California, right? To every multifamily broker we got across the network. You can do that using Blue Mail. So some very powerful stuff there for you guys. That's available. Uh, just a couple other things, and then I can kind of wrap up here for you. We do have, you know, I showed you some of the marketing templates that we have. We've got quite a few others that also exist within BrandServe. Okay, so BrandServe, and it does exist on the Coldwell Banker side of the business as well. This is just our commercial version of it. This is where you can get additional templates for Coldwell Banker commercial, right? So if you're marketing CBC George Realty, if you're marketing yourself, if you're marketing your office, this is where you can get that. This is where you'll be able to get all the new logos, stock photography, uh, et cetera. In here also is all those holiday templates that you guys might want to send out the, you know, happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving, New Year's, et cetera. Virtual backgrounds like I've got up behind me. Everything will have your Coldwell Banker Commercial George Realty logo on there. There's nothing you guys need to do for that. But when you come into BrandServe, um, you can just kind of come, like you can view the logos, right? So this is where you guys could download your logo if you need it. I'm probably gonna get a bunch of logos that are in here. Yeah, so I get all the companies, uh, but you guys would get just your logo. There is also um, some of the templates that we've got that are geared for social, right? This is great for LinkedIn, or this is great for Twitter or Facebook. Um, but here's events, here's welcome, like announcements for new hires and people joining you guys. End of year statistics, um, some of our value propositions, um, recent closings, new listings, right? We're here to help, new pricing, et cetera. So quite a few things that you guys can download. Everything's already branded CBC George. Again, we don't want you guys to recreate the wheel. One of our mantras is keep the surgeons in surgery. We want you guys focused on doing deals, making calls, pounding the pavement, we don't want you spending, you know, hours of your time creating marketing materials. So you've got all of that available in BrandServe. We also have another product that exists known as BuildOut. So uh, I don't want to really dive into BuildOut. I think that's something we can do as a, as a follow-up meeting. But if you're not familiar with BuildOut, BuildOut, the way I explain it is it's the Ferrari, right? It's the Alfa Romeo. It's the, it's the best of the best when it comes to e-marketing for commercial real estate. And we have a relationship with them at Coldwell Banker Commercial, which in turn, every one of you gets access to build out. And what it will do for you is it will create your flyers, it creates your marketing packages, your offering memorandums, it does heat maps, it does property websites. It basically does any marketing that you guys need for commercial real estate that is online, right? It's not, it doesn't do print or anything else. It will do all of that for you. So the way we normally, and the way I tend to like to work um, kind of these types of meetings is doing a follow-up one on build out because that alone is about 45 minutes to go through. And there's a lot of other things that we offer within CBC, but I encourage you to take a look at it if you haven't. Um, it's a great product. It's gonna do, again, all your marketing needs that you have from a commercial real estate side. 
And as we roll out the updated look at the start of next year, all the templates and everything in there will be updated as well. So uh, we can talk about that offline, maybe reschedule for one of these meetings. I can do a deeper dive into build out for you guys. And then the last thing I wanna show you to highlight is our commercial university. So commercial university, this is where you're gonna find access to all of our learning and educational components, right? So I talked about a little bit earlier, our CRE win course, right? Those are for brokers that are new in commercial real estate. Um, that program, this cohort is filled, but there'll be a new one coming up. So that's where you can learn more about it. We also have a course in here called CRE Accelerate, okay? And this course is, again, another program for new brokers, but this is a self-paced program. So this takes about six to seven hours to go through, and it's for folks. Oh, shoot. Um, I don't get access to it, but you guys, if you click into it, can. It's because I'm a corporate user. If you click into it, it will say, um, it will walk you through, you know, okay, what does it mean to be a successful broker? How do I choose a specialty if that's applicable, applicable in my market? How do I start building my book of business? How am I reaching out? What are some talk tracks, some basic kind of uh, lease calculations, cap rates, NOIs, et cetera. It will walk you through, through some of that. So if you're new in commercial real estate, it's a great course to really learn, again, some of the fundamentals about it. Other things that we have within here, you can always go to this learning library on the left-hand side and see a collection of classes that we have available. So we've got stuff that's welcome to CVC. Again, maybe I'm not new to commercial real estate, but I'm new to Coldwell Banker Commercial. And that's what this welcome to CVC will do, is kind of walk through all of these tools and resources that are available to you guys. Um, our virtual summit that's upcoming, training on Dash that we've got, CCIM, right? If anybody's interested in getting their CCIM, Coldwell Banker Commercial, we're actually number three in terms of most overall CCIM members. However, two companies ahead of us are both Colliers and CBRE. We've got way more brokers than we do, right? So if you look at it from an overall percentage, and we talk with CCIM all the time, um, we're actually one in terms of our overall percentage of our network that are pinned for CCIM. But if anyone is interested, here's discounts and savings for you guys and promo codes to start saving money if you want to take advantage of getting your CCIM. And I work very closely with them. We just had them speak at one of our meetings recently. Um, discounts for a CE shop that's available. And then also, oh, Mike Lipsy, his entire video training catalog is available. So lease versus buy analysis. How do I build my teams? Negotiations by phone. There's about 80 videos that are in there under the Lipsy library. He's a great commercial trainer. And then build out training again as well. So a build out being that e-marketing suite for you guys. We've got training for you as kind of the responsible broker, as kind of agents, admin, staff, connecting emails to it, um, quite a few opportunities and, and things to really walk through everything with you guys here. So take a look at Commercial University and the education that exists within here. You can always go to the calendar as well, just to see you know, what are some upcoming courses and classes that are gonna be available. So I don't think, uh, yeah, we do have a couple coming up this month. So that's when the fall cohort kicks off. Uh, we're gonna do a virtual coffee break. Um, we started doing these at the beginning of COVID early last year, um, half hour Zoom calls, just filling people in on some things that are happening, uh, you know, across commercial real estate. And I feel like I've seen a couple of you guys on those calls. Uh, we really enjoy doing them. They're, they're kind of uh, third party speakers. So we're doing one in two weeks uh, on PR opportunities, right? Like what are some things, what are questions you need to be asking your clients in terms of um, getting you know, PR and what are the things that we need to get approvals for? Um, what type of stories, what type of listings work well for PR? So if you're looking to expand in the PR and exposure side uh, for press releases, uh, you can sit in on that half hour Zoom call and learn a little bit on that as well. So with that, that kind of wraps up a lot of what I wanted to cover for you, guys, for you guys today. Again, there's a lot going on within the Coldwell Banker commercial brand. I'm very proud of it. And I've been with us for 15 years now, just on CBC, you know, seeing where we've come and what we're really focused on. And again, we're doing very, very well in terms of our market, who we are. You know, we're not CB Richard Ellis. We're not Cushman Wakefield. We're Coldwell Banker commercial. We do very well in our secondary and tertiary markets. We play in our neighborhood markets. We're kings of Main Street. We know what's going on and we work very well with our clients. There's a lot of resources that are available here for you guys. But again, not everybody uses anything, not by any means, right? People, we want to give you guys stuff to make your lives easier. So if you decide, you know what, I need more education and learning, 
come to the commercial university and go through some of those courses, right? If you need help with research and you're looking for um, people to contact and reach out to about clients, come to the My Business in that research section, right? And request some uh, data that might come from there. Or you need help with marketing and communications, you can download the templates that exist within there as well. So with that, I know I talked very fast, but there's a lot of things I wanted to cover for you guys. Hopefully this was informative and helpful. Hopefully some of the stuff you guys had already known, uh, but some of it uh, was most likely new to you guys as well. So with that, I'm gonna ask uh, any questions, comments for kind of things I covered today. Yes, uh, Matt, hi, this is Steve Hayashi. I see. Actually, you know, our Last week is the very first time I was able to uh, use the uh, build up. You're right, it's very good, but yeah. I have a couple of comments and maybe you can help me to answer these questions. The first sure. one is, uh, if, if you look at that, the image, they only got one page. And uh, you have, sometimes you have to uh, resize the pictures because on this one page, yeah. You cannot put a full size or full image. You have to adjust, adjust around, which is not good. Okay. Right. And the, uh, anyway, uh, the, the first comment is, can you add more pages for the images and make the size a little bit bigger so you can put in the full size? Or maybe you can adjust, them, but not, not right. right now. Right now, if you look at the one page, it's, it's horrible. Okay. Yeah. You cannot get the whole, whole idea. This is first comments. Yeah. And the second comments is on the fonts, uh, the size of fonts. Some of the size of fonts, you know, for my own opinion, I'm old, uh, is either small or smaller. Yep. <laughs> so some of the things you really have to pay attention to read what he's, he, he, he is talking about. So do you have any plan try to maybe do some kind of modifications of that? Then lastly, uh, I just look at this kind of, you know, we have a financial uh, uh, analysis. Uh, anyway, we can incorporate this kind of financial analysis inside our open memorandum. Yep. So a lot of those, a lot of those answers are, I'll say yes to, to your answers, okay? Um, and again, without going into build out, because I feel like if I do, it's gonna open up a whole conversation and a whole lot there. We'll get back to, I will have either Evelyn or myself will get back to you with some of the stuff, but the way you can do it is you can actually add your own pages to flyers. So there's a section in the bottom left and you can bring up your own PDF report. So if you have a financial report, you can click and drag and bring it up there. You can add just photo pages. So if you do a one page flyer, you can add multiple pages to that just for imagery, right? So just so you could have more rich images. Um, we could also look at the marketing packages for you in that case, right? So it sounds like in the one when you have a lot of those full images, one page flyer probably isn't going to work for you. You probably need about that five or six page marketing package that exists. So I think those are things that, and I'll send you some information about how, again, myself or someone on my team will, how you can add those. And then in regards to fonts, yes, you are not the first person who has brought that up. Uh, we know they are hard to see. One of the big things that we've done with the new updated look and, and the updated templates, all the fonts are bigger across the board. We've updated all the fonts. Everything will be a larger size, uh, in particular on the signage as well as the flyers and templates that we've created. Yeah, that's a nice to know. Yeah. yeah other than what the Steve said about the comments, uh, the, the, the bill of just great. It's very easy to use and it's... Uh, uh, very readily, you can create a, a presentation within the 10 minutes, you know? Yeah. And okay, good. So you guys are using it. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very good. But um, how does this compare with the Moxie works? Uh, I, I know that you're rolling out with the Moxie uh, Present and Moxie Impress. I know that those are, I understand, is uh, mostly for residential, right? It's all, yeah, it's only for residential. Moxie is not coming to Coldwell Banker Commercial. Oh, okay, so it's just different, different. Um, yeah, it, it's different. We've talked, I've talked to the Moxie people and they're always saying, nope, we are not touching commercial. We will not be involved with it. It's not something we're doing. Yeah, okay. So it'll you. be too different. Yeah, it's, you guys will just have to remember. And, and sometimes I understand it can be a bit confusing. Moxie is going to be any of your residential stuff. Bill, that's going to be any of your commercial stuff. Okay, great. 
How about the R C R E win? Uh, how often do you hold those uh, seminars? Yep. So we do we do that about two to three times a year uh, mm -hmm. is when we do that. So we did one in May. Now we have the September one, and then we will do Just another so one. We want to say it. I think we have a plan for like late January, early February. Okay. Is it free? It's free. Yeah, it's, it's a free course. Yeah. Everything I talked about today, and this kind of walks through it a little bit here. Um, everything I mentioned there's no cost for. Every tool, every research component, there is not one additional cost to anything I shared with you guys today. Good. Yeah. And I, I have to agree with you. Nobody can be efficient in the, all the resources in Coa Banker. That's no. not possible. It's just yeah. so, so overwhelming. But right. you choose your own niche and then want to find out what, uh, what you need to learn and just, just go from there, you know? Yeah, I mean, some people say, you know what? Yeah, build out's great, but I just want to do PowerPoint, right? That's what I know. Okay, we've got the PowerPoint templates for you. Here you yeah. go. You can send them and you can work in PowerPoint and do things your way. And then you, if you want education or podcast, whatever, we'll have that resource for you. Okay, very good. Thank you. It's a great presentation, uh, Matt. Very informational, very educational, very thorough. Appreciate that very much. Good. Well, thank you all. I appreciate it again. I will put my uh, email uh, in the chat for you guys. Um, so if you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out um, to myself. And again, if you want to be to schedule, you know, a training with Jane or anyone else, you know, Caesar, or Peter, if you want to get in touch with me um, and I can help coordinate that. If you want to dive into research or, you know, you want to dive more into the learning or somebody else or some other aspect within CBC, let me know and I can make those connections and get that all set up for you guys as well. Yeah. Matt, I just have one more question. Of course. On the uh, Coway Banker, I receive the wants and the needs every week. Yeah. Are we going to have that in the CBC? For the leads that come in? Uh, yeah, for wants, you know, I, I want something, I need something. Are we going to have that? Uh, I have wants. You know, it's funny you actually bring that up. So that's something we've been talking about doing. We actually had that conversation when we were in Jackson Hole, I know Caesar and Nick were out there, we were at a meeting for about three hours planning into 2022, right? We sat down and started looking at things. One of the things we discussed doing is having more of a national needs wants type call and just have it set like, hey, it's, maybe it's every Monday at three o'clock. I don't know. And whoever wants to join can. Um, we might do it based on sectors, right? We might do an office one, a medical office one, a retail, a land, whatever. Um, we're talking about structuring something like that nationally for everyone um, to see what's available. We're also talking about opening it up to your clients. If you want to invite your clients to that call and they can hear what's going on within CBC and talking about things, about possibly doing that as well. So we're looking at that, but I would suggest, Steve, um, two things to take a look at. One would be that blue mail tool I showed. So you can just send out a blue mail. You don't have to have a property tied to it. You can just say, hey, I'm looking for X amount of space in Y market, right? Does anybody know if anything, have anything? You could do that. But also take a look at that Coldwell Banker commercial private Facebook group. You know, again, in there, there's a lot of conversations and discussions. So you can post in there and someone will most likely comment or connect you with someone in the local market there that can help. Thank you for the suggestion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, before we adjourn the meeting, uh, I would like to remind you that this uh, session has been recorded and it will be uploaded to the Facebook and you can go to Facebook and uh, revisit it uh, anytime you want under Coal Banker George Realty video. Okay, so um, um, any, any more questions for Matt or for me or for Caesar before we adjourn the meeting? And if not, then, then we'll see you next time. And also for next, uh, uh, for next uh, session, we'll have Dan uh, Svilko to uh, talk to us about uh, co uh, commercial real estate 101. That will be a step-by-step uh, -step, uh, process where we can enter into uh, commercial real estate. That should be an interesting topic. And, um, we'll, and then we'll see you uh, and on the October 20th, I believe. All right, Cesar? Okay. All right. See you guys. Thank you so much, uh, Matt. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Thank you very that. much. Always wonderful. Fun. Really, really great. Good to see you guys. All right. Thank you very Take much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.